I just checked. And those are all of our ice tables and types of ice tables for this unit. So uh, very happy about that. We do have a couple more uh, trends to talk about. This, uh, these are going to be two trends in acid strength. And we will focus on the oxy acids. And an oxy acid is when the oxygen is attached to another element. And then we're going to talk about how the acidity will depend on the electronegativity of the element attached to the oxygen, which we call Y. So all three of these in this little group right here, we could simplify by saying H, O, Y. And if we drew it, their Lewis structures, it would look something like this with the dots. And all these actually have three pairs of electrons around them. And what we see is as you go in this direction, the Ka values get larger. And we're going to start to interpret this as a pattern. And this is a known pattern. Um, and the pattern is that Ka values get larger as the elements bonded to the oxygen has higher electronegativity. As the element bonded to the oxygen has higher electronegativity. My abbreviation for electronegativity is EN, and I'll still write it out. But we'll talk negativity. Uh, we'll talk about electronegativity uh, quite a bit here. So, and what we can think of is that these uh, other atoms, so chlorine uh, more so than the others, since they're electronegative, electronegativity, if you remember, is the ability to attract bonding electrons. And my symbol for electrons is E uh, superscript minus. Um, and so as uh, chlor chlorine is more electronegative, it is more able to pull those electrons towards itself. And that weakens the HO bond. And in fact, the weaker that HO bond, the easier it is to break and the more acidic it is. So it weakens the HO bond, which makes it a stronger, makes it easier to break, makes HO bond easier to break. Um, which makes it more likely to give up it's um, or more likely to donate a proton. Um, and that's what makes a stronger acid. So making a stronger acid. So there's a lot going on here, but the idea is that stronger acids have weaker HO bonds. And we can influence that depending upon which of these elements is next to it. We can do something similar here, except now we're going to look at the number of um, bonds. Uh, so the number of electronegative O atoms attached to the chlorine here. And so here we've got hypochlorous, which is a, or sorry, hypochlor, perchloric acid, which is a strong acid. Then as you go to HClO3, yes, it is also a strong acid. That is chloric acid. Then we get to uh, hypochlorous, sorry, chlorous, and then hypochlorous acids, and they get weaker and weaker. And so now we're going two atoms away from the OH bond. And what we can see is that while the chlorine 
is pulling electrons or, or pulling those electrons in the OCl bond away, which tends to pull the electrons away from the OH bond or the HO bond. Oxygen is so electronegative that it pulls electrons more so even towards it, which makes sort of a doubling effect right here. And so the more, like we can, let's say this, so more oxygens, two atoms away from the OH bond, which is the same, uh, sorry, I, I, you can call it the OH bond typically, you can also call it the HO bond. Um, pulls electrons away from chlorine, which pulls electrons away from oxygen, which pulls electrons away from the OH bond. So pulls uh, electrons away from COO bond, which pulls electrons away from the OH bond. making the OH bond weaker. And stronger acid. And you can see that, um, that the trend is very clear. So you're getting orders of magnitude difference in your Ka values for these based on the number of oxygens um, between them. So this is another trend. And we know from memorizing it uh, in Gen Chem 1 that both of these HClO4 and HClO3 are strong acids. Now we can see the trend uh, all the way down to uh, HClO2 and HClO. Here is an example that says which is more acidic and uh, here's how this goes. Here's your OH bond in acetic acid. Yep, that's acetic acid on the right down here. And then if you do the same thing, uh, except that you replace it with chlorine atoms, which are more electronegative than the hydrogens, that's the comparison here. That's going to make uh, you draw more electrons. So that's one, two, three atoms away, so that's even more farther away, and it still has an effect. So yes, this is the stronger acid. More acidic is another way of saying that, although both of these are weak acids.